assalamu alaikum hello everyone uh, today's topic is about protein structure and function predictions using i tester software you know why people use i tested tost software that is because if you do not have the right template to predict the structure of your unknown protein sequence right so if you see the uh, definition of i tester here you can see that the i tester stands for iterative threading assembly refinement and which is a hierarchical approach to protein structure prediction and structure based function annotation right so let's go through the process that how you can predict the structure using i tester first of all you need to paste the sequence of the uh, protein uh, you want to predict its structure we just paste here and then you need to register yourself for instance if you do not uh, have the uh, username id of this uh, tool you just have to register i have already registered here so i have put my username and password here and after that you need to click run i tesser and when you click run i tesser don't expect that the results will be given to you right away it takes around 1 2 2 to 3 days to predict your structure and once the structure is predicted that uh, structure will be sent to your email which you have provided here right so let's see uh, i've got the results uh, yesterday and here you can see that in these results they have show, give, uh, given all the five possible structures of the given protein sequence and if i want to see the details the link is mentioned in the email and if you click this you'll directly go to the graphical output of i tester results and the job id is this one that was given by the itesser platform this is the protein sequence which i submitted and uh, uh, after that you can see every result is given in a heading for instance first one is the predicted secondary structure in the predicted secondary structure you can see that if you want to uh, analyze the structure that whether the structure is good or not you can go through the scores and the overall structure and you can come up with your idea or answers that whether your structure is uh, the the ex uh, the right structure which you are looking for first you can see the predicted secondary structure here the uh, different colors and the abbreviations are mentioned here for instance this is the sequence which was uh, submitted by me and the next line you can see the structure the secondary structure which is predicted here you can see c stands for coil H stands for helices, which is in red, and then the uh, coils again. And here you can see the blue strand. These are the beta strands, right? So you can see that the secondary structure of the protein sequence is mentioned here. In the last line here, you can see this is a confidence score. So this score is from zero to uh, nine or ten. Hey, if the that is near to nine or ten, then it means the structure predict prediction is. better or the the confidence level is high at that site for instance here you can say 9 6 8 9 so depending on the number you can uh, estimate that the the structure predicted is better or not right in the next heading you can see that this is a predicted solvent accessibility of your protein sequence and uh, based on that you know what is a predicted solvent accessibility that whether the structure is hydrophobic that is buried in residue or that is highly exposed residue that will that will be hydrophobic so ranging from 0 to 9 the uh, the the hydrophobicity or the hydrophilicity is predicted for instance here you can see that it is 0 0 all the 0 it means that this region is highly hydrophobic and buried residue and if it is near to 9 for instance here you can see that if this is 6 so it is near to uh more near to hydrophilic uh, uh part rather than to hydrophobic right so and again here you can see that predicted normalized b factor so this uh, is also uh, a factor that value to indicate the extent of the inherent thermal mobility of the residues and then in the next part here you can see this uh, from here you you can go into the uh predicted structures 3d structures of your protein for instance here you can see that it is written that top 10 threading templates used by i tesser so depending on the protein sequence i tesser has selected these top 10 templates 
and try to align your sequence and predict the structure. So uh, uh, all these are mentioned here with rank for instance from this is the top structure uh, which was used and this was the least uh, that is at number 10. So uh, again the identity and coverage you know the coverage means that the total number of the sequence covered in this structure this is 0.42 that is from 0 to 1 and then normalize z-score and uh, and here this is download alignment if you click here you can download the alignment of your protein sequence with this structure so you uh, you need to know the z-score because z-score is very important here uh, the description is mentioned below the the result here you can see it is written that alignment with a normalized z-score greater than when mean a good alignment and vice versa it, it means that if the uh, z-score is greater than one it means the alignment is very good so here you can see that the alignment is greater than one so the alignment is uh, good for all these uh, uh, structures except for number five six and seven that is less than one right and then these are the top five final models predicted by ITESER you can see here that the these uh, structures you can click them and you can uh, see the all the um, be, uh, helices and strands which are predicted by your uh, against your protein of interest and believe that here you can see that uh, you can also download these model if you just click this the download model this will start downloading the PDB structure of this predicted structure and you can use it for your further analysis you can also zoom in and zoom out the structure to view here on the website as well beneath that there is a C score C score is actually uh, uh, important uh, uh, here because C score is uh, gives us the uh, that whether the prediction is good or not it is the description also mentioned here here you can see that C score is typically in the range of minus 5 to 2 so if the it is uh, near to minus 5 it means the structure prediction is poor or if it is uh, near to 1 or greater than 2 uh, uh, near to 2 or greater than 2 then it means that the that the value is significant and the model is good uh, you can see here it is written that where a c score of a higher value signifies the model with a higher confidence right so if we see the c scores of our predicted structure all of them are in negative for example minus 3.56 minus 2.67 minus 3.62 so these uh, uh, scores actually tells us that the uh, the the structures are not very uh, you know good or they are not uh, exactly what we need here so we may need to perform other analysis but depending on your protein of seek uh, protein of interest you will get different results I'm just going through the tutorial so that you may know that how to find the best structure for your protein sequence right and then also the TM score and RMSD scores are also mentioned here. Root mean the RMC, RMSD, you know that root mean square deviation. Then uh, also the proteins structurally close to the target in the PDB are also mentioned here. This is the list of the protein uh, structures which are close to the uh, protein structure of our interest. For instance, you can just directly go to this website if you just click here uh, on the PDB hit that will take you to the RS, to the main RCSB website and you can see that this is the structure of biophysical characterization of the SYK activation switch protein classification is transferred so you can also look into the closed structures of your protein of interest and then again uh, predicted function using cofactor and coach here you can see that you can also look for the sites where the uh, leg ligands can potentially bind so you can just uh, click the view option and you can go to the region where there is a possibility of a binding of a ligand to this protein uh, next <coughs> other other uh, options like enzyme commission numbers and active sites are also you can also see for the active sites uh, looking on the, these options and uh, lastly all the other details related to the gene ontology of this protein sequences are also mentioned here based on the alignment c score tm score rmsd and pdb hit gene ontology you know that it actually tells us about the 
molecular function of the protein, a biological process of the protein which uh, protein is involved in that biological process and cellular component. You can just click on this uh, link and you that will take you to the uh, gene ontology website and here you can see the details of that function of uh, that uh, function of interest for example here you can see that that is the protein kinase activity right so above all uh, you can see that you can find a lot of information related to your unknown protein sequence that what are the possible secondary structure what is the solvent accessibility what are the templates used by the uh, uh, ITASER and then the five possible 3D structures and also the best uh, closely related PDB targets of your protein of interest and, and other functions. So I think this is a good software to start up, uh, uh, start up and predict your unknown protein sequence if you are not, were not able to find the right template using other homology modeling techniques. Thank you very much. I hope this is uh, enough for today.